Hello and welcome back to the next episode. Uh, where are we looking at? One thing. Oh no, hang on, let's go back. There we go. Uh, this is all good, this is all good, this is all good. This all good. Um, Pro Capitalist Corporation. Yeah, it could be an issue. There they are. Minimal threat. It's going down apparently. It's good. Um, yes, so uh, buddy report is C. Um, basically, we're losing more and more and more money. The interest on my cover gets 65. So it's, it's a massive chunk. 20% of our money now is uh, being taken out. That is ridiculous. We need to make more money. Uh, here, daylight saving time. Our Ministry of Energy suggests we use daylight saving times to set in the clock for one hour forward during summer to decrease the need for lighting. Farmers and retired people prefer uniform time zone though. Uh, use daylight, daylight saving time. We see many benefits of brighter evenings. We'll need less energy and roads will become safer. Environmental support suggestion. Changing the clock takes too much effort. Takes much effort. Farmers will seem to set their work schedule by daylight and the seniors just get confused. For simplicity, let us use the same time all same time around the year. It's quite strange because actually in England we do have daylight savings time. And they do say that we went back to uniform time that save a lot of money with um, industry because a lot of people will be using it, everything will be exactly the same. But it's not really saying that here. However, based on what they're saying, I don't really care as much about the farmers and the pensioners, because to be fair, Farmers can just continue doing whatever they want, so it doesn't really matter then what time of the day is. It's, it's all based on light, so it doesn't really matter. And um, the pensioners, well, they can toot around lunchtime, even if it's 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, can't they? So, yes, we will shall set it. Bish bash, bish bash, bosh, lovely. Right, we have to make some money. We can piss people off for a little while now, it's fine, we have to make some money. There's two ways I've seen to do this. One is we could, well, sorry, th three ways. We can increase this, loads of money really piss people off. Not going to happen. The other way was to increase uh, alcohol tax, which I might do just a bit anyway. Let's see, I don't know, 40%? Reduces alcohol consumption, uh, which increases productivity. Poverty goes up a bit, but it's really low. Poor are a little bit more unhappy, which is fine in a way. Oh, it's nine points, it's not really much money. It's like close to five billion or something stupidly small. It's like two billion extra. It's not worth it. So, there's two big ones. Sales tax. It pisses people off. We're at 59 billion. For me to get an extra 20 billion. So put to 30%. It's 20 billion pounds more. It doesn't really change too much. Yeah? So I like the idea of that. What does this do? Okay. Um but, 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 but I think if they do those uh, fake money, effectively, uh, it doesn't actually we don't actually earn any money off income tax and sales tax and all that because it's not actually classed as real money. The other option is <coughs> carbon tax. Look at that, three to ninety-one billion. It makes people more efficient. Environmentalists are happier as well. Car tax. We have that in England. It's just like you have to do it. Damn. We might bring that in. Uh, carbon tax, yeah, so everything's good. Uh, it probably just pissed some people off. I don't know who, I mean, it's obviously the in in industries, but is that going to be the capitalists? I don't want to piss them off any further, but it's so much money. So anyway, it's next turn about what, so let's just skip it down. A crisis in confidence in the overseas mortgage market has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. Big financial institutions are panicking, and there's likely to be a medium-term drop in the strength of the global economy and with res resultant impacts on us. Global economy gone down by 0.5. Fuck. Financial sector points up. Fuck. And socialism got. Damn it. A debt crisis has happened. A level of government debt has started to cause severe fiscal. Whoa. We nearly touched it back there. Imagine if it was then. We would not have won the election by, like, here. Government debt has pushed interest rates so high that mortgage costs are becoming unaffordable for middle classes. At the same time, fears about a possible governing government default on its debts are driving away business investments from overseas, affecting our GDP. And these fears are also affecting large, small and large businesses alike. Everyone's pissed off. Process interest also ended. Racial tension has ended. We're at C. Everyone's unhappy. Right. Two things then. Uh, definitely increased sales tax. Where are we at now? 60 billion up to. It's going to be 40%, wasn't it? That's an extra 40 billion straight there. Bam. Go. Next.
next turn. We're going to be killed, aren't we? Oh my god. Virtual reality market leader. <laughs> With virtual reality tech startups in every corner, our country has reached the status of a world leader of VR. The military is excited about the new possibilities of the v and the VR economy is booming. Capitalists are happy, their productivity is up, and GDP is up. Lovely. Financial sector has been liquidated. Oh no, man. Government institutions need to choose between a commercial software platform and an open source alternative. While the IT industry gives us a generous license offer, the hacker community addresses the economic and idealistic advantages of open source programs. So, user proprietary system. Commercial software is a user friendly and familiar is user friendly and familiar. You don't need to be an engineer to use it. Teachers, doctors, police and officers and other government workers are more comfortable with these programs. Proprietary software also supports the IT industry. Or transfer to an open source system takes some effort now, but is beneficial in the future as all programmers can develop the code further. Today the big software companies can exploit the government. Open source code is more resistant against the internet crime by 100% support open source software wherever we go. So we're going for that top tips. Everyone else. It's fine, right? We're in a big dip. These are going to have to go away soon, as soon as this. Ha! Oh. The deficit's right down, look at that. Debt crisis, the debt. I need to get rid of the debt. Okay, we need tax. Sorry, peeps. Uh, carbon tax, go. CO2 emissions go down hugely. GDP goes down. Environmentalists are happier. Everyone, air travel, capitalists, oil demand, international trade, oil prices go up. For now, we can get rid of our let's go to 50 points, get rid of our issues, go from there. Red Axe that's an end, good job. Labour shortage an end, good job. Arms export, oh, look at this, everyone, not bad. Within the last months, several great powers have increased military spending. Our industries have an opportunity to land arms orders from several countries, though some of them have dubious human rights records. This is an opportunity to create jobs and improve the economy. We have made weapons so dangerous that no one would want to use them. This makes the world is this me makes the world is more peaceful. So this is obviously one that's been coming with the mod. It doesn't speak an English speaking person, to be fair. If we don't make arms, someone else will. We cannot, with good conscience, contribute to global militarism, say no to blood money. To be fair, we make guns. That's the first point. If you don't want to make guns, don't make guns. If you want to make guns, you're gonna send them to whoever pretty much, and if people are gonna pay for it, let them pay for it, quite frankly. They're, it's up to them to decide what they want to do with it. I don't think you should say no to certain people. Because you say no to certain people, you're saying no based on your ideologies. Which, if you are, say, pro terrorism, you're saying no to all the good guys and giving all the bad guys. Quotation marks. So, do you have to just be liberal about it? Give it to whoever. And then see. Okay, 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 okay. How oh, we stir deficit? You bastards. I can't make much more money. Everybody wants this. Oh, fine. Capitalists less happy, GDP goes down, self employed happier. Car usage goes down, environmentalists and socialists. I don't particularly want it, but fine. There's 6 billion right there, and can we increase the alcohol? There's the booze, there's the booze. Can, I think? Yes, just about. 50%. 40 pounds. Keep that there. Oh god, we're gonna die. Price school's ended. C, 45, okay. Media backlash. Everyone hates us because one of our country's most popular newspapers has launched a major campaign criticizing your policy so far. We have a surplus, we have a surplus. I think if we have a surplus, no matter how much buy, it will start going down by an equal amount. So once that goes away, these people will be happier. We can get rid of something. Oh my god. Good upper, where's the good upper? Good upper, good upper. Good upper's there. Where's the GDP overall? Uh, let's go for this. Nope. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. <laughs> Look at that 
this match just there. GDP is global economy. So it should start rising back up again, which gives us a lot more money. Oh, just skip it down. Just skip it down. Just skip it down. Environmentalists are so bloody happy. Commuters are just off their tits happy as well. Traffic congestion is coming down. people happy afterwards but for now we need to just grab damn money let's uh, economy 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 let's make people uh, start mining for minerals private space flight minerals 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 rare earth metal mining da 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 they'll be furious that's true but Good. Oh, get a space program. Got to get a space program. But we can't afford it. Arr, what can we afford? I can't that's 40 million pounds. It really pisses off capitalists. We'll wait for now. I think we're going to die, to be fair. Okay. Homelessness is now here. Or even more pissed off. Racial tensions has happened because of unemployment. Rare earth crisis has happened. Rare earth metals. Two rare earth metals. Um, that's fine, we'll get rid of that. Productivity, GDP, and computer industry going down. Disputed islands, so we're basically in China here. A country and a neighbour have contesting claims to a sparsely populated island with some reserves of oil and other minerals. A patriot wants us to enforce a claim with a military expedition. There was a preferred treaty to divide the island. Uh, no, we're taking this by force. By deploying soldiers and ships to the island, we do not only provide security, but also basic services to the citizens. The resources will benefit our economy, for sure. I can't be bought. Oh, f back into a freaking deficit again. Are you kidding me? Carbon tax. It's bringing GDP down, isn't it? That's why. Okay. We're going to have to bring this up 41% to like 50. I'm sorry, people. It's got to be done. Oh, I feel so bad. Private health care is at an end. Really? Spelling reform. Three generations of written and spoken language have diverged from each other. This causes trouble for our school children as well as for immigrant learners. Our radical linguists request a spelling reform. The conservatives and retired people believe our language is good as it is. Keep old spelling. So, okay. We need to honour our language and its history. Uh, the elderly will have no chance to... I've just read this, but it's amazing. We'll have no chance to cope with the new system and what effects will become less literate. Or reform spelling. A spelling reform will make our language easier to learn. <laughs> will make our language easier to learn for students and foreigners. It will improve education in the long run. It makes you sound like you're still bad. Uh, I don't know. This is quite a good one. Because this looks silly to us. It does make sense. Yeah, let's go for it. Boom. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's happening? We've got a surplus. This has to go. Homelessness is back. That makes sense. Um, obesity needs to go away. Farmers are happier. Obesity goes up by huge amounts. Farmers, how are you? Where are you, farmers? Where are you? It's none of you. Sod right off. Where is that? <laughs> That's obviously not it. What we doing? Right. Farmers, farmers, farmers. GDP, car usage, agricultural subsidies, cancel. Let's just cancel the policy. Go. Next turn. Oh, for f f f why? What? 
what, what, why? Whoa, 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 why? Flash crash. GP down by 0.3. Look at that. Kuf, kuf, kuf. What are they doing this for? Automated trading has rendered the stock. No, it hasn't. Black market's cost is 14 billion because of income tax. Okay. Every economy has a black market, but the situation has started to get out of control. People are increasingly working for cash in order to dodge paying income and corporation tax. And people who are claiming state benefits are also working and not declaring income. This may be a sign that the citizens consider themselves overtaxed and not overly, not sufficiently supported by the state. 14 billion that's costing. Right, let's reduce this back down again because it's basically nothing. It's 4 billion. I really don't care enough about that. Percent will do for now. Jesus Christ, 20 billion surplus. Come on, people. We can do this. We can do this. Yes. Conservatives hate it. Parents hate it. GDP goes up. Liberals hate it. I think we should cancel this as well. It's religious. I don't really care about the religious as much. There's a lot of them, though. Bloody hell. Is the op oh, okay, let's try to work out what the opposite is. I thought conservatives and liberals are the opposites. They are. It's going to make liberals happier. Where are they going to Religious membership does go down. Liberalism goes up. That's a bit of a bitch. Education goes up and religious is less happy. I could raise it, I think. Anything else I could bring that would be quite nice. Border infrastructure would be nice. Um, of course, you guys want this. It'll give you shit tons of money. Capitalist, self employed, liberals are. Ah! Bloody liberals. That'll do. Next. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, liberal plot as well now. Just. Oh, shut Unemployment. We did so well. Like driverless cars, fair play. But then everything. Oh, bleh. I read that as vomit there. The mitt. I thought it was first one we felt like. I was just, oh. Process industry is back though. Process industry is back on. That's good. One good thing has come out of this so far. GM food proposal definitely allow GM crops. 100%. We need it. Definitely. How are we doing? No! What? A 54 billion deficit? <laughs> What's going on? Is that because of the... Um, we can't with GM food proposal. It must be... Flash crash. Oh, what? That's going away at least. It should say what's causing this, but still. Oh, it's obviously debt, isn't it? Um, black market. What's the other thing I was thinking of? Black market and. Something else just happened. GDP. Well, it's rising back up again at least. We'll see what happens next time. Oh my god, 54 billion deficit. This is just outrageous. Seriously, it's just... How? Anyway, uh, car usage. Let's have a look at car usage. Got buses going down slightly because driverless car locks. That's good. Let's make these guys happy. Bus usage, rail usage is going down too. It 
that's fine. Car usage is also going down. This is looking good. Let's actually reduce rail subsidies a bit then. Because that is 18 billion. I can't actually reduce my much to be fair. So okay, is that a negative Im impact on unemployment or is it increasing unemployment? Uh, decreasing unemployment, sorry. Uh, homelessness unemployment. Yeah, it must be decreasing. Yeah. Oh, street lights are appealing. Alright, what else are we spending loads of money on? What else are we spending money on? <laughs> state health, military, state school. should bring both these back down again. It's just by like five billion each. It's a nice amount. And road building. Can't make it cheaper just yet. But probably bring that down again. Next, please don't die. Oh so we've lost so oh, Rust Belt's at an end, that's good. He hates me, good. What is he? Law and order. Capitalist environment. Oh, I can't help it, mate. I seriously can't. I would love to, but I can't. Unemployment's going down fast, though, that GDP, though. <sighs> war Crimes Court membership. The International War Crimes Court invites other nations as a, a nation as a member. Each member state obliges to arrest and hand over suspected war criminals for trial. Should we sign and ratify the statute? Ratify? Um, oh, hello. Become a teenager again, huh? Our only hope for world peace. It's an international agreement against war crimes and genocide. Membership will improve our international credibility and appease the liberals. Or, turned down, we shall not give a foreign institution the right to treat our brave soldiers and our officers as criminals. So the war on terror re requires us to use enhanced interrogation techniques and might require collateral damage. Um, so it's kind of like Guantanamo Bay. You know, is, this, is it? Our rules, our laws, and that's the way it is. Or is it a case of if you can create a war, you do a war crime, then tough. To be fair, they are not fighting for the world, are they? The soldiers, they're fighting for the country, so they're doing things under what we say is right. So it should be down, down to us to sort them out. Come on, please, just. <gasps> what is going on? Oh, pff, that's good. 17 billion. Lovely. Let's just. Um, we'll spend some points as we cap out, so. Uh, Building. Let's just reduce some of this down. Ten billion. There we go. Yeah. Kyoto Award. We may be members of a small club, but it's an important one. We're proud of one of the few nations that are taking our climate change obligations seriously. Okay, we'll look into that afterwards. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh, you hate me as well. Good. Scientific discovery. Boom. Patriots and GDPs. G sorry, Patriots and GDPs. Patriots are happier and GDP goes up. For years we've wondered why these those scientists spend so much time in underground tunnels mumbling about quarks and mesons. But today a major scientific discovery was announced concerning new particles, colliders and other physics mumbo jumbo. While it's true that teleportation and hyperspace aren't with us yet, it's, this is still great news for high-tech industry and a superb payoff for an, such an educated workforce. Good job. What's the recession? And our income's actually going up. Such a massive hit, bloody hell. 204%, fucking hell. Still a surplus, that's good. Oh, we're in such low shit right now. Once this goes, we can reduce things down, that can go. <sighs> right, rare earth, where's uh, environment system? Let's do some rare earth mining. Okay, rare earth prices goes away. Lovely. Environment is a less happy. Productivity goes up. Patriots go up. Happier, sorry. Technology goes up, and capitalists are happy. Oh, capitalists are happy as well. Working a good twenty billion for that. I know it's just about right, but it should help everything else out as well. Oh no! Someone tried to kill us. Brain drain. 
tax system is encouraging the best and brightest entrepreneurs to leave the country altogether and make money elsewhere. As a result, we're losing both on our knowledge and skills and also potential tax revenue from them and their companies. It's maybe a sign that we are overtaxing the wealthy and successful. I agree. I really, really do. But I have to get rid of it. I'm sorry. Still a surplus. Come on. Probably one more turn. We can do this, people. We can do this. Come on. crime there's nothing we can do about it such a shame we've come so far ah what we've got a surplus why is it going back up again uh, oh a surplus of 40 billion right Sales tax. They're actually doing about the same. Income tax, mansion tax. GP capitals, okay. Primal bonus crops. We can bring this down a bit. Let's bring income tax down a bit, maybe. Sales tax down a bit, sorry. episode, I just realised I've gone for quite a long time. We'll try and recover, we just have to get rid of this. Rare earth mining issues should be going away sooner rather than later. How long is it going to take to implement? Ah, quite a while. So I don't get we're a 30 billion surplus and yet this went up again. Spending down a bit. Stay healthy down a bit. But stay healthy is doing a damn good job. Oh, I might just have to take like 5 billion off of this. Bring it down to 20 billion. There we go. Every little helps. an extra bit of money. Let's whack that up as well. We'll get rid of some of these after. Just want to get rid of once this is gone we can start actually producing that might reduce it down now. 176 to it's like 20 billion so I do 5%. 30 billion right there. Oh I can't afford it. Can't afford it. Okay, see you next episode what I'm gonna do. Uh <laughs> it'll be fine. See you then. Bye.